guys playing Fabricator again today. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned before, I may have done. The suspension on this thing is um, four link, I have mentioned that, it's four link coil with airbags, it's got a patrol sway bar, it's got some pretty heavy duty foam cell old man emu shockies. 99% um, of the time towing, it's brilliant, not a problem. It just, um, when you get a bit of side to side action going like when you're on the beach like I was a few weeks ago and you're in somebody else's ruts that are gone snaky, um, the trailer tends to, to get the wobbles because of the, obviously it's quite high, it's quite um, top heavy. After talking to a few guys that know more about suspension than I do, um, the the suggestion that kept coming back to me was put double shockies on it. So that's the goal today. Um, trying to keep it on the cheap at the moment. These are the shocks that were in it. Old Man Emu, Nitro Chargers. Um, and I've just picked up a, a pair of these. They're Bilsteins. They're basically valved to the same, same level. Um, they're to suit the same vehicle. They're both two inch lifted Hilux rear. Um, if this solution, well if this is a solution to the problem, I will invest in a, a matching set. So I'll probably do away with all four of these shocks and buy four um, Tough Dogs or EFS or something like that. But you know that's a that's thousand dollars worth of shockies that I don't really want to spend on right now. Um, we'll have a quick look underneath, I'll just show you what easy solution I've come up with to solve this mounting problem because this is where the original shockies mounted at the top um, and at the bottom so the plan is to put the old man emu shock back where this one is and mount the second one next to it rather than trying to do a, a heap of welding and mucking around under here um, and probably burn myself and I'd have to take out the coils and the airbags and all that stuff probably the wiring would have to be covered up with something um, I'm going to actually put two bits of flat bar across there um, they'll bolt on with the original shock there'll be a secondary mount bolt hole for the new shock and just here on this cross member there'll be a flat because I've got a notch around these cross members here but there'll be a, a 40 mil flat in here which I can then drill a hole through the floor and put a bolt in I'll go back to the workbench oh. and um, show you what the what the story is so there's my two bits of flat, there's the hole for the original shock, the hole for the second shock and the notch is for that cross member. Now I'm actually going to weld a bit of 40mm flat centred on that notch and that will give me the space I need for the 40mm bushes on the shock and it will also give me somewhere to not so much mount but more just brace the center of this setup i think there's probably more than enough strength in these bolt positions and the fact that it's all joined together um, but just as an extra measure there'll be two bolts fixing it to the floor as well um, it's very difficult for me to try and film while I'm fabricating, but I will do my best. I hope you enjoy. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time to see 
from up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Probably should have jammed another bit of 40 mil in the the bottom side of that. Would have um, helped stop the well pulling it all around. But deal with that. Oh. Hammer will deal with that. It'll work. So, I've mentioned before, I'll get this in some light. I'm not a welder or fabricator. Okay, I'm a, I'm a chippy. I was trained to work with wood, not with steel. Um, I've never taken any classes in welding or fabricating or anything like that. And yes, it's ugly. Some of my welds turn out looking pretty nice, but I do know they're strong. I'm confident I've built a lot of stuff. And I've never had a weld or anything near a weld fail on me, so I'm not concerned about that. Um, it just shows you don't have to be in the trade to have a crack. Um, you just need to have a bit of gear and you know, a, a 40 year old welder will do the job. Pick up one of those off Gumtree or Marketplace or whatever your, your favoured second hand supply is, you'd probably pay maybe $20 for one of those. And it does the job, it works brilliant. I well, know, things are looking a little busy under here now, which um, I'm not a huge fan of, but it is what it is, had a problem, hoping this is the solution, so you can see I've put a second mount, 90mm spaced from the um, original to match with what I've done up there, 90mm spacing up there as well, so you can see the um, the brace that I've made that actually bolts into the existing shock mount up there and same at the other end and then it's just got a new bolt location I haven't drilled the um, the bolt holes for these areas yet but I will get to that just going to put a 10mm bolt in there and one in there as well 
I don't think it really needs it, but I'll put it in just for, for good measure. And yeah, um, I've given the truck. Hope you guys enjoyed that um, little bit of fabrication. Um, I'd like to try and find a, a better way, maybe get a, a couple more GoPros and um, get better at actually trying to film the process rather than just showing you what I'm doing and then showing you the finished product. Um, but I also hope it gives some of you guys some confidence to have a go at this stuff yourself. Um, get yourself a cheap welder, get yourself a grinder, um, go to your local steel supply, just get some scrap bits and pieces, some different size bits of tube, flat, bit of plate, um, and just get on YouTube and there's, there's channels on there that are better, better at um, explaining how to do these things than I am and um, teach yourself how to weld. Um, I've been doing it a long time, I'm still no professional at it but I'm pretty happy with the, the level of work that I pump out. Um, just for myself, I definitely wouldn't charge somebody else for, for my welding but it's good enough for, for what I do. And the trailer has been on a, um, a trip since putting the, the dual shockies in there and it has absolutely fix the problem um, it travels really nice well it always traveled nice but it, it hits the angles and the the whoop de whoops a lot better than it used to um, like I said earlier if anyone's got a better idea about this sway bar to stop it walking sideways I'm, I'm all ears that pipe clamp is doing the job but it's not a permanent solution and yeah thanks for watching I hope you guys can um, like I said, get some motivation and, and have a go at this yourself. See you on the next one.